Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join us in, well, more than a slightly difficult situation. Don't worry, I don't want any flipping trouble with you, you bastards. I've sort of, kind of, sorted out my rap problems, haven't really found a permanent solution, but you know what? I've got most of my health bar back, that's a good enough starting point. However, now the big problem is the fact I'm ravenously hungry, and also where are the... That's a... Hang on. A mutt crab. Not a mud crab? Well, I guess not, because we're not technically in Skyrim right now. Okay, just a little crabby thing. If there was... Okay, the ghouls are up there. It is the daytime right now. Okay. I've heard about little crabby things. Where's little crabby things? Because little crabby things... I might be up for murdering the little crabby thing, just for the sake of getting myself just a little bit of food. I might be willing to kill you, because, yeah, there's not uh, Mylurks yet, but there's these little bastards... So, okay, sure, I'll see if we can give this a go. Hello! Apparently I can kill you. And... If I can just... Actually, while it's searching for me, it's getting further away. There we go. And it also had no flipping food in it, so that's just marvellous. Right, get down here. What I need to do is... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 no. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'm absolutely not here. All I need to do is get along out to the west. Out to the west is where my future is, damn it, I've decided. Because as someone pointed out, of course, there is something very good over to the west, and quite significant to the west, actually. I'm quite a long way over to the east of the city, but unfortunately, survive mode, we need to do this, and... Ooh, I'm not often actually down in this part of the world. I didn't realise there was all this kind of stuff just kind of floating around under the bridges. That's kind of cool. Ah, wait. Backstreet Apparel. Okay, what if I was to... Oh, I don't dare take additional rads right now. If I was to basically... Oh, hang on, what's that? That's just floating there. Um... Okay. I imagine these guys... Yeah, okay. There's a turret there. Okay, if I just go over to here... Oh, no, no, you can't, you can't... Okay, you know what? Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's This is totally not what I wanted to do. Like, you know, avoiding rads was fairly high up the list of priorities right now. But okay, apparently we just need to take it. It's fine. It's okay. There we are. Oh, bloody hell, you guys are totally still here, aren't you? Yeah, of course, the survivor's on that boat as well. Wait, is that a... Is that a fire or a cooking station? If that's a cooking station, I might... I'm bloody hell, now I'm overtired. Okay, everything's fine. Those people are searching for me, but I've made it to... Hang on, is that a mattress I can actually use? No, darn it, it's not. And also, what's that? That's coffee tin, but no actual coffee for it, obviously. Right, I am close by, of course, to Hangman's Alley. Now, cooking station by default there in the base game. And also, if we've already made it here... We're actually already pretty close to the edge of, like, the city. Soon we'll be out into the countryside. Then, Oberland Station's an option. But I want to at least have a look at Hangman's Alley. Though if I don't know the look of it, I'm going to back out. Because it's been a bloody long time since I've saved. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, as I would have expected, there's Survivor. Okay. At least one Survivor. Go over to a gun. Only six bullets remaining. He's not. Come on. If I could just get the headshot on him. Oh, the headshot wouldn't do. Darn it. Okay. Do I have time to do this? Okay, just... Oh. The headshot. Okay, the headshot would do, apparently. I was saying a second ago it wouldn't, but if you just want to hold still, that would be marvellous. Yeah, you just hold still right there. Right there. Right there. And no, keep holding still. Thank you. And there he is. Okay, number one goes down. Excellent. I'm liking this new reflex scope because it's silence. Nobody knows about that. Who's up next? Who's up next? Who's up next? There's probably not that many. Yeah, I've discovered Hangman's Alley. That's fine. And actually, if I just... Oh. Just... I should have done this at night. If I sneak up here, I can get a view as to what's going on elsewhere in this settlement. And the answer is... Okay, one survivor there. He's tough enough to take a headshot. At least he is at this range. And if I just basically go up here, open this here door. I might not want to have opened that door, but... Okay. 
I see two. I've got myself two frag grenade scattery lads. All right, and I've also got, ooh, I've got a few throwing things. What else have I got? I'd like to, ooh, hang on. Plasma grenade? Yeah, actually. Right, about here-ish. Come on, come on, please, 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 please. Oh, yes. Okay, that killed at least one. I think another one might actually still be up and running. Okay, wait, wait. Something's searching for me, so that wasn't... Okay, that was worth it. That was worth it. There's one survivor there. Question is, are you... I'm pretty sure he's holding a gun, though. That looks like a gun to me. Yeah, okay. Wait for you to go down. You're still at full health, but just one more. One more, and I think, because no one else is running around, we've just got to take that guy out, and I think we can do that. Oh, flip, this door's actually novice locked. That's... Surprisingly annoying in this mode. Okay, good. Got it first time. Right. In we go. Careful, careful. Where is he? And is there a... Is it just you? Or is there a second? I think it's just him. I don't see anyone else around. Oh, no. No, I most certainly do. Right. There's still two. There's definitely still two. In which case, dropping an IED. Yeah. Yeah. If we can, drop an IED and lure one of them forward. Or, just go over to the massive gun and gun them down. Or, how about both? Wait. Wait, there he is. Oh. He is very, very dangerously close. And then he just swings back around that way. Swings back around that way. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And boom, 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 boom. And that explosion did not hit me. And screw it. Go for the bodies. I don't have the action points for this. And just finish him off. Oh. Okay. That was just pure. Also, I was just green found. Right. Well, this is intriguing. There's something else here. But apparently, it doesn't actually care about me. That was just pure luck. He came so close to just nailing me then. Right. Well, let's see what we got going on here. We've got ourselves... Ah. Bit of ammo. None of that's that useful, though. Who else was there? Hang on. There was one guy who was killed... Who was killed up. Didn't I shoot a guy? Yeah, ooh. Cryogenic grenade, Lardy flipping da. Now, who else is here? Because, well, if they were going to ever be hostile, then they would absolutely have... Ooh, engineer's fatigues. Hang on, what's engineer's fatigues? That's just... Nope, that's worthless. Don't worry about that. If they were going to attack me, they would have done. Unless they were asleep. But if they were asleep, also... Ooh. By any chance, can I just drop a fake save here? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Whew. I know I'm still overtired from lack of sleep. I know this isn't a proper thing, but I've got a save down. So that's fine. I'm now feeling much better about life in general. And yeah, I'd forgotten this place looked like this. Because <laughs> yeah, this was my home in my main survival playthrough. And I did a lot of work to it, building a whole lot of stuff. So it's kind of weird to see it like this. And ooh, chest. Proper chest. Okay. Uh, used oil can times two. Right, remember there is oil here if need be. Don't bother with that yet, but... Cooking station. And I've got myself... Well, one, apparently I can make myself a fungal purge. That's actually genuinely useful. And I can also make myself... I'll leave the bandages. I'm okay on that for the time being. Time to make some, yep, crispy squirrel bits. So I don't get sick. Iguana on a stick. Nice. And some mutant hound chops. Wait. Oh, the strange meat wasn't human. It was mutant out. I had no idea. And mutt chops times four. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Wolf ribs. Don't forget wolf ribs for night vision. Might actually be useful. Okay. This. This is all very, very good indeed. Right. Eat some of that immediately. Just eat it up because I'm ravenous right now. Oh, iguana on a stick. Oh, that tastes good. Also, wait, what? Did I just... Did I just gain money? Why did I gain money? And crispy squirrel bits. I feel better, but still famished. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is good. And you know what? I've got fungal purge. It weighs something. I may as well flip in. Actually, wait, hang on. Is my health okay right now? Yeah, my health's good enough for that. So, there we go. That'll get that down. And some nice mutant hound chops. And some mutt chops, too. Always a good, reliable food item. Up to hungry. Screw it. I'm just going to get myself up to full up. There's no reason to hoard food at all. 
Unless, of course, it gives you a really positive benefit, like uh, the wolf ribs do. So, I kind of may as well... Wait, was that actually it? Was that all I had? Oh, I thought I had way more than that. Okay, you know what? I'll do one wolf ribs now. There we go. Oh, properly fed. I actually just skipped over peckish entirely. All right, that's beautiful. That is just beautiful. So, uh, for once, we're okay. Apparently, though, I've still got 5% adrenaline. I can't remember how that's calculated. Yeah, I've just did a fake save over there, but I've still got that. Need to bear in mind, uh, yeah, my alcohol addiction's costing me lots of sanity, agility, and charisma. I'm still mildly dehydrated. The overtired's costing me strength. That's actually a real problem. Because, yeah, as a result, I'm actually uh, a little bit on the overweight side at the minute. So I need to actually get rid of some stuff. I am, however, carrying five new cola bottles right now. So I can take those straight out to the river that's just outside. Convert to dirty water, convert to purified. Then, okay, I can also get rid of some of the dehydration. But no beds. Now, I could, if I wanted to, convert this place into an actual base. But if I convert this place into a base, then I lose... Yeah, I lose 15% damage reduction, and also I lose 10 carry capacity. But I'd actually have a bed. I'd have actually slept, drunk, and eaten all in one place. Hangman's Alley is nice and central. Okay, I don't like it, but Hangman's Alley, I think I'm going to make it my base. So, just crawl over to the weapons workbench here. Apparently, there's just some fertilizer, steel, and wood here. Marvellous. Right, that's dumped enough stuff down that we're okay for the time being. And yeah, thought so. It was all over here. Ooh, an extra grenade. Okay, medium backpack. You know what? I don't really care about the colour. Already got a lantern. Don't need any of that. Though bullets and bones gas mask does sound badass. Right, time to do this. Workshop. I believe I've just given up my actual... Yeah, hang on. If I come out of this now, then I should be... Wait, hang on. Why am I still able to move? I shouldn't be. If you control no settlements... Well, I just did start controlling a settlement. So, why has my weight capacity not just dropped to 90? You know what? Don't question it. This is marvellously good news. So, beds. Beds, beds, beds. Now, ideally, I'd like a covered bed, but... Well, the rules on this are sometimes a bit on the funny side. This is probably the nicest spot in this area. It's technically in a shack. Not a good shack or anything, but it'll flip and do, so that's a proper bed right there. Okay, that, that'll do as a starting point. Fungal purge hers worn off. How much have I got? Ah, quite a bit. Good. In that case, one more quick blood pack. And also screw up, shove a bandage on too. And that should get my health ticking up nice and quickly. Lovely. Now, time to sort out water. Oh, I'm feeling so much better now we've cleared out this place. <laughs> I've actually been able to drop a save and all of the rest of it. Right. Out we go. Nice and quickly. With a save under my belt, I'm feeling good. Let's just quickly check what's around. Oh, this is bloody novice locked as well. Like, seriously, I do not have many bobby pins, and it's surprisingly tricky. They've made it so much harder. It's like doing basically a, a really difficult Skyrim lock all of a sudden, just for the novice. There we go. I just lost one flipping bobby pin here. It's somewhere around about here-ish. Just a tiny bit further, I think. There we go. Right. So, both entrances open. I'm not sure I even want this entrance open, to be honest, but this will be the fastest way to get down to the hall. Oh, there's something around here. What have we got? In the base game around here. There's all sorts of trouble in the world, but I don't see... Oh. Okay, I'm close, but not that close to something. And wait. Hang on. What am I doing? What What am I actually doing right now? What am I doing? Why am I saying, oh, let's go down to the flipping river? Hang the flip on here. Before you do that, find some bloody concrete. <laughs> I've just forgotten how settlements bloody work. I think there's some concrete blocks in here, isn't there? If I can just find a couple of concrete blocks, we'll be sorted. Speak of the devil, look here. We've got some flipping stairs that are made out of concrete. Right, resources, water, water pump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Right, job done here. Now, apparently dress like this at this point. <laughs> I can just convert, yeah, loads of bottles into dirty water. 
Only enough for one purified, unfortunately. Oh, people have been pointing out why kind of does my system work like this when if you've been downloading Frost, you need like water purification tablets or something like that. Uh, the reason for that is I'm playing on 0.4. Um, there has been a new release with a couple of different changes, like how water works. Uh, I'm not going over to it, because very often when there's big changes like that, it causes save file compatibility problems. So I'm staying on the version that I'm currently on. Still, I can now have oh, one purified water. Now truly Christmas has arrived. Please at least just get me down to the next level. No, no it didn't, beautiful. Actually, wait, I think there is one more thing I can do. If I recall correctly, I can make, yep, with razor grain and dirty water, I can actually make myself a nice noodle cup. And if I recall correctly, that actually sorts out food and thirst, so that's a nice item to have. Now, before we go any further, and before I actually get a proper night's sleep to get rid of overtired, what else do I need to get rid of potentially here? Not carrying any additional apparel. Weapons I could probably do to get rid of something at this point. Do I actually need all of this? Do I need the... Well, I kind of do need that because that just saved my life. Actually having a decent powerful gun on me, not a bad idea. But I could do with probably just dropping off a few bits and pieces I'm not really using. Together with things like, yeah, nine doses of medex. I don't need all of that, so I can leave some of that here as well. But bear in mind, the big thing is, right now I'm at 92, but I'm losing strength and stuff from being overtired. So if I just take a good long nap now, and actually, conveniently, I can wake up in the middle of the night, when it'll be darker and I can sneak around more easily, yeah, that'll be absolutely perfect. So, so long, lose a day, time to get a proper night's sleep in a proper bed for the first time in bloody forever. Yeah, a proper nine hours. Actually, no, let's go for... Yeah, eight hours should be fine. Eight hours to get me into the middle of the night. So that'll be a good, nice rest. Please don't get sick. It's a proper bed. It's in a covered space. Don't get sicker. Auto-saving. I'm well rested. Okay, we've got a... Is that a flipping rad storm? If it is, I'm going to be annoyed. No, I think we're okay for the time being. Okay. We're all right. Albeit, when I say we're all right, I'm still an alcoholic. I'm still suffering from weakness. I'm still desperately thirsty. But, oh, rain. I've heard bad things about rain. Right, we should probably be on our way. Or, we might want to actually just have another sleep to get rid of the rain. We'll have to see. If rads start kicking in, like, in a hurry, I might be panicking about this. We'll see. Actually, no. This is a thought, actually. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I've just dropped a safe. What I'm going to go and do now is I'm basically going to go up to Diamond City to see what's there. Even though it's almost certainly going to kill me. And everyone said, don't go there. Don't even bother. It's the US Army remnants. They're bastards. They'll murder you. Okay, you know what? I'm curious. Let's go figure out what it is. And there's some... Ooh. There's a badly damaged US Army remnant. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. If there just happened to be one US Army remnant on his own, who's already badly injured, that might work for me. Also, I should really set the uh, the new old gun. Hang on, yeah, the glow-sighted handmade rifle. That really needs to actually be set as a weapon. <laughs> Definitely need that to hand. Because that guy, that guy looks like he was weak enough to a standard body shot, but just a headshot might be enough to kill him if he's all on his own. The US Army remnants might actually be nice and... Oh. Okay. What's he holding? Because he looks to me like he's holding a knife. Okay. Where are his friends? I mean, if he kills me, then he kills me. And that's honestly not the worst thing in the world. Because if he does, then I've got to save just around the corner. I can give this guy a couple of goes. So he's just run off down in that direction, which isn't really the direction I was, but screw it, whatever. Uh, I can't see any of his friends. There we go, and boom, 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 boom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We've just killed a member of the US Army. Now, that's not necessarily a good thing, but... Oh, flipping my. He had a sh... Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I might have just made an excellent decision here. Right, I've got myself quite a bit of spare space going on here. And actually, this guy appears to have not particularly heavy and re- Ooh. 
Oh, this could change everything. Lightweight combat armor left leg. Pocketed combat armor chest piece. <gasps> pocketed. It's pocketed and it's combat armor. And he's got a flipping stealth blade combat knife. And he's got a short plasma rifle, which is flipping amazing. I've got no way to actually, you know, use the damn... Actually, it only weighs 4.7 because it's short. Okay. Okay, right. Everything just changed. Advantage me. Because I'm actually wearing army fatigues right now. <laughs> what are you actually wearing? Hey, what's your what's the base thing you're wearing underneath all of this? Green flannel shirt and jeans. Okay, I have more right to army stuff than you, because I'm actually wearing army fatigues and you're not. So screw you. Right, okay. This is marvellous. So he's got basically on the right arm, right arm and right leg, basically it's just 9-9 nine, nine and 8-8 eight, eight for about 4 and 2. So on my right arm, I've got, yeah. That's heavier, flipping hell, and that is sneaky. Okay, you know what? I might be willing to keep the shadowed leather right leg just for sneakiness, because shadowed. But I'm definitely willing to basically hand over the... Oh, but it's pocketed. That's pocketed. But hang on, do I have... What's my current chest piece? My current chest piece is, uh, yeah, 11.6, 2233. But this, I think, is actually worse than that, isn't it? It's... Actually, no, 25, 25, and pocketed, and only weighs... Oh, it only weighs flipping 12.5. Okay, so let's just do that switch right away, because that'll get me a bunch of extra carry capacity. So give him that, and take this for me. Yep. And what's that going to do? Oh, up to 115. Love it. Now, the helmet I'm wearing, yeah, weighs 3 and gives me 9 and 4. His weighs 3 and gives 10 and nothing to energy. But honestly, we're not running into much energy, but... I tell you what, it probably looks cooler. I'm willing to do the switch there. So we'll just basically take an army helmet and we'll give him a metal helmet in return. Now the left side's where things get interesting here. So what he's got is, yeah, so on his left leg, he's actually got, for only 3.7 weight, 2 action points and 12 and 12. I've got pocketed there, but it's actually lighter. And it's a lot better in terms of damage resistance. Yeah, you know what? Fine. I'm willing to give up one bit of pocketed for that. Yeah, I think so. And here's the big one. A heavy combat armor left arm. Actual heavy gear, which is really nice. Uh, what is my left arm right now? Ah, the left arm's where I've been wearing the wire this whole time. So I'd be giving up five weight in order to have... I feel like I've got to. I mean, it's worth it because I've just got the pocketed chest piece now. So give up that. Take this girl. Yeah, I mean, you can't turn down heavy combat armor. And I guess my total damage resistance up to 77, 75 on the energy, 30 on the rads. That's actually pretty good. I'm actually really happy with that, in fact. Yes. Oh, marvelous. Right. So that also gives me enough spare weight to actually take his short plasma rifle back to base. Nothing I can do with it right now because I've got no plasma ammunition and weirdly neither did he. Even though I bet actually if he did pull it out he'd totally been allowed to shoot me with it. But this here. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm happy now. By any chance as the Trinity Tower radio signal just shows up because it's not disabled. It seems pretty quiet in this part of the world. What else do we actually have around here? By any chance, is there any... Oh, survivor and someone searching for me. Don't know who's searching for me. Probably just that survivor. Actually, I'm getting heavier at this point. I'm getting less and less stealthy. So, hmm. Probably, I want to call it a day here. There's nothing down here. This is just a... Hang on, shine the light. Yeah, this is just nothing. Right, undetected. Let's just have a little pier... Around the other areas, there's nothing down here. This is the area where the super mutants are in the base game. But bear in mind, they're unlikely to be there now. Because that guy was probably wounded from fighting, I'm guessing, something around here on the right. Any chance I can see more of you guys? US Army Remnant, again, badly injured. Now someone's searching for me. More US Army Remnant. Oh, they're everywhere. Okay. Some of these guys are, oh, 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 no, time to go. Time to go. All right, seriously, get back to base. Drop a save. We've just done some really, really good work, but 
we've got a different priority right now, which is now we've actually taken care of hunger and water. We've actually got some good armor and whatever. It's time to... Oh, found. Found by who that stayed green? Okay, quite frankly, that just makes me nervous. Who's around here? I mean, it could just be like a, a bird or something. I don't know. Right. Leave it be. Leave it the flip be. Leave all of this alone. Actually, I could do... How good is this kind of the hardened pipe stuff you've got? Because if you've got a good gun that uses the 38, that is... Ooh. Damage 25 using 38. Only weighs 4.4? Ooh. Okay. That I might actually be willing to have a little looksy at. Because I've got a ton of 38 ammo. I could take that. Leave the... Yeah, that's 25 right there. Hang the flip on here. This thing's only 32, and it weighs 16. Range 101, accuracy 73, fire rate 40. Fire rate's flipping 55, range 203. Oh, blimey. Right, okay. So we've definitely got a weapon we want to be using that. Fine, I'm glad I checked this. Has anyone else got anything amazing that just happens to use the... Oh, blimey, you do as well. Right. Recoil compensated powerful pipe rifle. Weighing another flipping four. Okay, I might be able to make something good out of all this stuff. So, store this old girl away. She's done great so far, but I suspect I can make a better pipe weapon. Because I've just got flipping 100 rounds here, and that only weighs two weight there. That's marvellous. Right, what are we looking at here? So, hardened receiver, powerful receiver. Yeah, if I could basically just take the, the powerful long light. Yeah, actually. In fact, possibly the best thing I could do is just take the the stock off this one. Hang on, that's also got small bayonet and standard sights. Whereas this has just got the the reflex sight. If I could just actually take the, yeah, the marksman stock. How much does it cost to make? Okay, I'd need a screw. I need one screw to take the marksman stock off that. And I can make standard sights immediately. So, one adhesive, I've got the, the steel I need for one steel. Marksman stock. Yeah, literally, I just need a screw. I just need a flipping screw from somewhere inside the settlement. And I can actually take the marksman stock and the reflex sight off this thing, shove it on this girl, and basically have all the advantages in one. Right, I just need to find a screw. Hang on, just on the off chance, maybe this storage chest? That produces two screws. Boom. Oh, yes. Oh, flipping yes. Oh, Christmas has come early. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Right, so, just a flipping standard grip. Okay, and just standard sights. Okay, lovely. And then this thing's now got nothing of any note in it, so we'll just break that girl down for more steel. And then this girl has already got all of that good stuff. So now we move that over to Marksman's. And we give her the... No, just got the standard magazine. I can't do anything with that, unfortunately. I'd need more adhesive. Move that over to Reflex. And I think the small bayonet, doesn't that actually... Yeah, that actually um, reduces the range. So I'm actually just going to take that off. Uh, so just no muzzle. And now I've got a Marksman's powerful pipe rifle. Which has got flipping fire at 55, range 203, accuracy 81, with 100 bullets in it. And an actual reflex scope. Oh, flipping my Christmas has come early. And don't forget when I'm done to actually just store all the mods. And would you believe, I think I'm going to favourite this old girl. And now, got myself... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is just the flipping thing. Right. Dropped another quick save here. Next up, continue with the plan we had. The plan we had uh, is a good plan. The plan we had is... Yeah, stick with... That's blatantly heading towards something. Yeah, there's something quite close in that direction. Fine. Ignore that. Go down here. I'm pretty sure this seemed quieter. What I want to do now is I want to follow the road west out towards Oberlands. Because I still think we might be on to something... Heading in that sort of a direction. 
Because, yeah, there's a bunch of good stuff over there. Like, people have said Fort Hagen is, understandably, going to be occupied by the US Army. Anything that's called, like, a fort or is a military installation, immediately after the war, is going to belong to the US Army still. So that, you know, makes a bunch of sense. But, what we need to do really is... Oh, Survivor. But, he's some distance away. It's night. It's fine. And if he becomes too much of a problem, I'll just take him out with my... Ooh. Mrs. Oh, the named ghouls are still present and correct then. Right, okay. But it's night. Okay. I'm going to head down towards here. I'm head down towards the water. And actually, I'm guessing the, um, the old alien spaceship isn't going to be there. If I just keep my distance from the ghouls at this time of night, it should be absolutely fine. Because swinging around the Beantown Brewery, not a bad idea. Because the Beantown Brewery is full of bottles. And is right next to a pool of water. And dehydration remains a pretty major issue of mine right now. So if I just stay over here, this seems to be pretty bloody quiet actually. Yeah, we should be a-okay. That is, okay, I just picked up some rads there. I feel like I could have just jumped over that, but never mind. Even though I know Fort Hagen is going to be occupied, there's the blood bank just around the corner from it. Nothing but bugs in there in the base game. Hopefully still nothing but bugs. And plenty of med kits, potentially some more antibiotics. Because I'm suffering from weakness right now, so... Uh, yeah, having some more actual bits of antibiotics and medicine floating around would not be the worst thing in the world. Also... It's very nice to watch the uh, just the frame rate just ticking up as we leave the city. Yeah, Frost is apparently a bit intensive on the old city. So it's nice literally walking away from the city and watching your frame rate tick up as you actually do so. And looks to me like everything's quiet around here. So, fine for us to basically speed things up a little bit. Because yeah, if we're between Oberland Station and Beantown Brewery, then we should be absolutely fine. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Nothing around here. This place was always pretty safe. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, hopefully, Beantown Brewery has not decided it wants to, like, you know, repopulate. That would be really annoying if it decided to do that. But we are on... Actually, how much flipping actual carry capacity do I have right now? Actually, for the time being, plenty. So, yeah, a good 25 extra capacity. And... Feels to me like this place is still completely quiet and abandoned. Good. Good, 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 good. Right, so... What we are here for is, well, actually, you know what? I'm also willing to just take booze in general. Because booze just, you know, gets my rads ticking down and just kind of holds off the negative sanity effects of my, you know, rampant alcoholism. So, lights on, look for bottles. Bottle, bottle, bottle. And if we're lucky, some of these bottles will regrow in the future. Because sometimes just loot regrows in this game and it's very hard to figure out when or if that's going to happen. Still, let's kind of do this pretty quick if we can. Don't be wasting too much time just randomly hunting around for bottles. I'd rather be getting on with like, you know, filling them up. And also, I can actually drop a save on the way out of here too, which is convenient. Right, here we are, yeah. Bottle, 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 bottle. Oh, and more down at the bottom that I totally overlooked. Fortunately, I found them when I fell down here by accident. So, ah, that's actual booze, not just bottles. Good, I've actually got some actual booze here. Marvellous. And that I can just basically drink some of now. Marvellous. In order to get strength up by one and also slowly reduce rads and get rid of, uh, yeah, the old insanity business. Oh, Flip, I think I've just walked out into a rad storm, an actual one. Right, okay. It's time to fill bottles really, really quickly here. I'm going to be over capacity. That's fine. I just need to fill these bottles as quick as you like, then get inside and wait out the storm. Because this is an actual proper rad storm, that bloody green colour. Oh, I'm hearing the rumbling thunder in the distance. Oh, hang on, is it fading? Oh, it might just be the end of it. Good, I think I've just missed a rad storm. Marvellous. Now, in a minute, I might start actually taking leg damage and all sorts of other undesirable stuff. So, uh, come on, do this nice and quick, please. Oh, yeah, I've started taking leg damage. Come on, it actually takes time to fill up this many bottles. There we go, that's all of them. Right, back inside, quick as you like. Sooner we convert all of this to purify, the sooner I stop taking health and leg damage. And if my legs get crippled at this point, that's going to be really flipping annoying. I probably should have done this in little kind of small relays. Right, come on, come on. And go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. 
Now, now we're in better shape. Okay, now I'm trying to drink some of that water. And speaking of that water, 14. Okay, come on. Drink it down. Still thirsty. Parched. One more. Properly hydrated. And nine spare purified waters. And a noodle cup. Food's going to start becoming a problem soon. But I think actually, for the first time in cooking forever... Oh, look at those action points. Look at those flipping action points. I've actually got action points. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a thing of absolute flipping beauty. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I haven't been in as good a position as this for quite some flipping time. Right, drop a quick save here. Let's be on our flipping way. Now, the downside is it's now daytime, which isn't great. I'd rather it wasn't, but okay. Let's speed things up a little bit here. And remember, every time I actually do booze, that gets my thirst up a bit. So I need to be careful of that. So let's just head over to Oberland Station. It should be pretty much due south. There it is. There's Oberland Station. Because Oberland Station should bring me close by to... Is it a dam? It's like a hydroelectric plant or something. That's a good way to cross the river over there. Hello there. Swords away. Just want to be friends. So, me and you friends? Well, you're not trying to murder me, so I'll take that as a plus. Here we go. It's a bit down to the south. If I follow the train track, then I'll intercept with... Uh, I think it might actually be... Oh, hang on. That'll probably be the main one there. I thought it was... Oh, no, hang on. No, it's right there. It's that thing there. Undetected, and I'm getting less detected. Fine, so it was them that was almost detecting me. Now, there's a boat. There's a boat over here. Actually... They've got a... Oh, no, I don't think you can use their bed. I think their beds belong to somebody. Okay. Let's just head along in this direction, close by to the water. Because with the threat of my lurks removed, I'm feeling okay. And this bit of the world feels actually pretty safe. Yeah, actually. Things seem very calm. Fine, I may as well just have a little loopsy in this boat. Just to check if there's anything going on here. And the answer is no, literally nothing. Probably don't decide to live in this boat. Ah, uh, yeah, and there's one of those flipping radio towers here as well, where you can sometimes raise them, and they don't seem to actually do anything aside from produce new radio signals you can follow to source. Okay, against my better judgement, just because I do actually have a save pretty close by. Yeah, what killed you? What flipping killed you? Because I'm by any chance to have anything good on you. No, nothing major. Okay. This all seems incredibly suspicious. Well, there's a thing here. I'll take a gold plated flip lighter. Oh. Oh. Vendor? A vendor? Is that an actual shop? I. Someone who's not decided they want to immediately stab me in the face. Hello? Hello? Yes, I want to be friends. I'd love to be friends, in fact. Who are... Wait, what? Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's fine. He's just asleep. Sorry. I kind of assumed he'd been, like, tied up and this was a trap or an ambush or something. But no. It's fine. Right. Okay. And there's a cooking station here, which hopefully you wouldn't mind me using. Hello? Hi. Are you actually going to not stab me? Oh, my goodness. I found a flipping shop. What madness is this? I'm going to have you duct tape, by the way. Sorry, I want that. Oh, flipping heck. He does actually want to trade. Okay, let's do some flipping bartering. Oh, my goodness. Third person from actually speaking to somebody. He's got antibiotics. Okay. What have I got that you're willing to buy? Just my own drugs. But, I'll tell you what, I'd be willing to pay for that anyway. Because it would appear... The caps are already the accepted currency. I was a bit worried that it might be money. Because I thought I'd seen someone in the comments mention, hey, you need to actually use the money to buy things because that's still the currency, which would have made sense. But I'm saying I've got 993 caps. Unless, of course, that is actually referring to the amount of money on me. But I don't think I've actually got that much money on me. So maybe that is dollars just using the cap symbol. I'm not sure. But I think I'm willing to basically buy antibiotics off him, to be honest. I mean... What else has he got that's decent? I mean, actually, he's got a dick toll. I could get rid of my booze addiction. But then I quite like doing booze. Booze for plus strength isn't the worst thing in the world. Though, actually, do I need it anymore? I'd probably... 
be better off actually just buying the Addictol, doing the Addictol, keeping the antibiotics for now as an emergency, because weakness, while it's not great, is not the worst thing in the world. I need the antibiotics held back in case I get an infection or something. But getting rid of, yeah, the actual alcoholism problem, that'd probably be a good idea. Screw it. I think I'm just going to burn all my money doing that. So there we are. Most of my money actually gone there. And I'm also guessing, as in the base game, this is basically going to introduce a whole bunch of thirst... Ooh, assault rifle. And apparently that's not stealing. But it is... Oh, it's heavy. Okay, just remember that's there in case I need it, but that's quite heavy. So here we go. Addictol. Probably about to introduce some thirst into my system. Yeah, indeed, I'm thirsty from lack of water. But that's okay. I'm now up to parched. And fine. And with that, for once, I'm actually looking in good shape. So I've shaken off my alcohol addiction. I've still got suppressed immunity, which is a concern. So I'm worried I might just get sick anyway, which is why I kind of just want to hang on to the antibiotics. Until suppressed immunity wears off, do not use the antibiotics, because I might get sick again from just the most minor insignificant thing. But blimey heck, the actual debuffs having been stripped off for once, I've actually got some special stats that aren't won. That's just quite frankly remarkable. So next time I need to clear out some weight, just basically drop all this booze. But in an emergency, keep it for now. Just because, yeah, oh, I should have done all seven of them and then the addictol because that would be 70 rads I didn't have. I'm an idiot. Ah, never mind. Doesn't matter. Just basically remember to get rid of those if need be. Now, by any chance, would you mind me using... Oh, I can even use your flipping mattress. Nice. So... Weapons out. I've actually now got... Well, this is all getting weirdly under control for the moment at least. We've actually got rid of most of our most severe problems. And that over there is a first aid box in that boat. Better... Ooh, purified water and a blood pack. Oh, I'm loving today. Today the game is being nice to me. Uh, now, if I recall correctly, you can actually go inside this place. Uh, yeah, operations. And then there's... all. Okay. Getting bad feeling about the rest of it, though. Don't panic just yet. I don't want to nip into... Op okay, fine. You know, I'll nip into operations. If I recall correctly, this is like one corridor and one room at the end. So, back out if need be. Actually, it looks like it's all under control. Fine. In which case, grab the bottles. We can convert them later. Uh, wooden crate. Might do that in a second. Ooh, a telephone. And uh, what else do I need? Oh, hang on. Is this not the place I thought it was? There's definitely a different operations room that's actually got some, like, proper, yeah, little corridor or something to go down to. This is apparently just a single room. Okay, fine. I do, by the way, have absolutely no idea exactly where Fort Hagen is. Or, yeah, where the blood bank next to it is. I would assume it will be somewhere not too far from here. Because, yeah, that's the, that's the flooded town. Fort Hagen's not much beyond it. The blood bank's further south. I would assume these bits of road round here would be that. Because it's definitely further north than the great big massive interchange. That's further south. So I guess these roads round here would relate to Fort Hagen, which would suggest I ought to be very close. Now, what's the safest way to cross this little... Well, a lock, actually. It is just a traditional lock. Because that is... Well... Okay, the brackets are stable for now. They shuffled a little bit a second ago. There's... Is there anything down there? Probably nothing wasting my time going down there as I'm actually out of food. Perfect world and part of it is... Oh, no, sorry. This is the flooded town. Oh, I thought I was already... Uh-oh. Okay. Hang on. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Oh, it's daylight as well. Flipping heck, it's daylight. Okay. If he wants to come this way, he's more than welcome to. You know why? Because I-E-D. So, hello over there. Hello! I'm a person. I'm just going to put an explosive down for... Excuse me! I'm... Okay. Or don't run over to me when I literally... You are terrible at hunting. You know what? Fine. You know what? Whatever, 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 whatever. And boom. There you go. Now he's found me. And now he's... Okay, this hasn't gone that well, actually. Uh, jump over the top. That's water. That's water. I thought that was like leaves or something, but it wasn't. Uh, right, over the top here. Hello. Right, where's he gone now? Okay, he doesn't actually have an arm at this point, And 
Right, in general, I've made bad life choices. Hello, I'd like your help, please. Please assist. Please definitely assist. Okay. Yeah, now he's now he's going for that guy as well. Right, help out, please. Thank you. Get up close to him. Don't let that guy die, by the way. I can't need that guy alive. Um, 23% chance to hit. Okay, actually, your leg's almost gone. 61, 63. Go for it. Take out the leg. Boom, he doesn't have a leg. Stop, 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 stop. He doesn't have a leg anymore. He's fine. I feel ill lethargy. Okay, that's okay. This is exactly why we held on to all of this. Now, where's your head? Uh, now, we can take you out and just hold still. Boom. Right. Job done. It's fine. Where's the chems vendor? Please tell me he hasn't run off ahead because I kind of might have needed to have, you know, bought more drugs off him later. He's... No, he's good. I'm so sorry. Wait. Oh. He's got better. Oh, of course he does. He's a chems vendor. He's probably got medicine on him. Right. That was a bad decision. Don't do that thing again. Actually, wait. As the school's up ahead, I'm going to just go drop another cow to save at your bed. Sorry. If this is the flooded town all around here, then yeah, I definitely need to go further. Maybe it's inland rather than south to Hagen. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, I really don't know. But for the time being, the brackets seem... Okay, the brackets aren't that relaxed about anything. Hang on, stay out of the way. Let's just get over here for the time being. Stay undetected. Searching, but that's okay. Searching's not a big problem. I'll take some wonder glue, by the way, because why wouldn't you? It's also getting a little bit on the old misty side. And... Wherever he is, he's close to detecting me. Okay. I've got a plan here. Looks like these are steps to me. You'll never figure that out, though, because zombies are stupid. Uh, where are ya? Where are ya? One good headshot with this will nail ya. He's right down there, lovely. Now, if you, my good man, just want to hold still at some point, that'd be marvellous, but... Actually, it feels like he's just detected something over there. Uh, wait, what else lives in there? In the base game, it's nothing but ferals inside the flooded town. But that's not to say... That means it's ferals in this mode. Okay, whatever's going on, he's now sufficiently far away from me that... Sufficiently far away from me that... Sufficiently far away from me that I can just head over in this direction and everything in the world is fine. Uh, don't worry, it's fine. I've got this, I'm just going to work around them. I'm just going to work around them. I've still got one IED set as my actual main thing. Now if I just follow the road around here, yeah, there we are, good. Now that... That sign, where am I? It's remarkable how much I forget where I am. Because, yeah, everything's just slightly, 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 slightly changed its, uh, its colour. Because of all of the snow. I just head in this direction. Found? Okay, someone's found me, but whoever found me, they don't seem to actually care that I'm, like, you know, me or whatever. So that's all good. Have I by any chance found... Have I found another friendly person? If I've just found another friendly person, that'd be great. Hello? Who are you exactly? Trader? Oh my! Well, life today and a sleeping bag I can use. And a, do you actually mind me... That's antibiotics. For free. Oh, flipping my! Well... Life is just good today. Life is good. The universe likes me. Hello there. Now, what are you selling, my good man? In terms of age, you're selling yourself an iguana on a stick. You know what? I think I'll take that. And for that, I will gladly trade you a bit of booze. Oh, value one. Right, you're willing to charge me 107 for an iguana you've put a stick through and cooked. But you're only willing to buy beer for one. Marvellous. Ah, screw it. I'll sell you two of them for two, I guess. And actually, now I think about it, uh, junk, if you've got any empty bottles, I'll gladly take empty bottles off your hands. No, you got none of that. That's a shame. Ah, screw it. I can't think of anything better to do right now. And iguana on a stick. Should be nice and tasty. I feel better, but I'm still peckish. Apparently, I got hungry at some point. I'm not sure when that happened, but I've now got ten carry weight spare. And uh, I can drop a save. And I'm back to being parched from lack of water immediately. Bear in mind, yeah, right here, there's a cooking station. Good. 
Got a save under my belt. Now, that guy is hopefully the guy who's almost detecting me. Now, where exactly is Fort Target? Because I feel like I've already gone... Yeah, I feel like I've already gone too far if I'm at the massive interchange. At this point, really, I'm also looking for animals. If I could find an animal, nail that with this rifle, I'd be pretty happy with life right now. I'm just kind of heading up northwesterly direction, which I think might be about the right way. And actually, this is all looking about right to me. And better and better, the signs. You actually can use the signs in this game. They will actually point you in the right direction. Not quite as usefully as New Vegas's did, but, yep, here we go. I'm in the right direction. So, that is the camp part, which is full of ghouls in the base game. There we are. Fort Hagen on the next exit. I think we've made it. Right, so, we have made it quite far, in fact. We've done a good journey today. Now, I don't want to be actually close to Fort Hagen itself. Fully aware, US Army remnants, though, admittedly. If the US Army Remnant, having like, you know, lots of men and wandering around with big guns, have managed to get themselves into some stupid fight, and I might be able to pick off someone uh, on the outskirts, that turned out very well for me last time. So I might be willing to consider that, but, oh, Yeah, the problem is, because I'm actually approaching from the road, I'm actually approaching up to, like, the, oh, 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 whoa! They've got a flipping vertebird! Right. Okay, so basically, was that just a bit of an odd lighting effect, or did someone just fire a fat man? Because I'm, I'm increasingly getting the feeling they've actually got a... Oh, flip. Oh, flip. They've... So, this is where I die. That's absolutely fine, uh, because I literally can't actually do anything to the... Yeah, this is where we die, then. Because because there's not much my rifle can do to... You know what? Fair enough. So, back here with the friendly trader. <laughs> I wouldn't go northwest, by the way. There's a cogging vertebrate. It's basically immortal up in that direction. So, uh, I think we know what we need to do next time, ladies and gentlemen, as we wrap things up today. Next time, obviously, we're going northwest. I'm going back to Fort Hagen, but this time... I'm not just going to walk up to the front flipping door. We're going to try and sneak around the outside. If we're very, very lucky indeed, as we've got a safe right here, I might just be able to pick off one of their soldiers. And if not, well, we can work around the outside, visit the blood bank, try and get some more medicine going on. Though, admittedly, I've now got two doses of antibiotics, which is pretty bloody good. I wouldn't mind a third just for luck, because I'm starting to feel a little bit more in control. And once we get a bit more in control... I would say it might be time for us to begin exploring a bit more aggressively. Because we've certainly made some good progress today. I mean, we started over, yeah, the far side of Charles View today. And we have come a long journey clearing out Hangman's Alley. Actually having a base and, for some reason, not losing the benefits from uh, Lone Wanderer. Even though it specifically says we should have done. But whatever. Jab, swinging by here, round here, then up north to here. Yeah. We've actually made some decent progress today. So, let's clear out Fort Hagen. And then I might decide whether I want to head down south. Or indeed, uh, up north to finally go and visit. Oh, bloody hell. Sanctuary feels a long way away. <laughs> it feels a very, very long way away indeed. We shall see about that next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. There's been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much. And goodbye. This here, this is the face of death. Okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>